night at popular landmarks. Noel Lenny Graff is in Tempe tonight with a look at the effect Pokemon is having on policing. So by now you have to know why everybody is staring at their phones. They're blending the real world with virtual creatures like this guy and capturing them with their phones. It's drawing a lot of people to the same spots and some places are making sure their security is more visible. Our guys are constantly out on patrol. Searching for crowds on campus where there shouldn't be. There's parties that go on. A big part of the night shift for ASU police. It could be suspicious. But a new trend. A lot of looking lost. Has popped up on the radar. Excuse me real quick. What's happening, guys? You guys playing Pokemon? You are? You guys looking for the Pokemon Go? Yep. Pokemon hunters. Basically, it shows you the world, and then you had to find the Pokemon. Everywhere, all hours. You can tell just by the way that they swipe. And now officers like Sergeant Brian Epps are learning to identify them, too. I never dreamed I would be dealing with Pokemon as a police officer. Someone walking circles in the dark normally cause for concern. Now, a game changer in the way officers approach people. Might ask them, hey, you know where you are, do you need help? There's a Charizard or a Pikachu or whatever it's called. Some get a safety reminder. I'm gonna keep an eye out still and know what's going on around me. On the sidewalk and on the road. They, you know, I stopped you because you're weaving in your lane or something like that. Is there a problem? Oh, well, I'm playing Pokemon Go. A criminal mastermind? No. Just trying to master another level. But keeping your Pokemon Patrol safe is now a team effort. Happy hunting. Another security concern that's out there? personal info. So the game maker and Google are working on a fix to make sure that it limits what it has access to. And if you're still worried about it, a simple fix, use a generic email to sign up for the game. Now back to you. So 